Hey guys, welcome to the Main Springer channel. I'm Parikh. And in today's video, uh, we're going to do a six month follow up of my Tudor 925 Black Bay 58 watch, uh, just to kind of show how this watch has aged over the six months. And I'll tell you a little bit about what sort of conditions I have exposed this watch to. Now, if you have not watched the video of my review of this watch when I had purchased it, uh, please go check that out. The link is in the description. And if you are new to my channel, uh, please do like and subscribe. I really appreciate that and it really helps grow this channel. The YouTube algorithm looks for all of those things. So thank you so much. Diving into this watch, no pun intended, this is the Tudor Black Bay 58 925. And I bought this watch around Christmas last year. And when I purchased the watch, it definitely had, so that because this watch is made out of silver, when I actually purchased this watch, it actually had a nice silvery glow from the silver itself on the case. And uh, it looked beautiful. It was pristine. There were no marks or anything on the watch case. However, uh, now that I have used it for six months, I have uh, worn this watch almost as a beater watch during the entire time. It has been on my wrist, whether it's uh, sunshine, rain, high humidity, low humidity. I have exposed it to seawater during when I visit San Diego by the beach. Of course, after any sort of liquid contact, I typically rinse the watch and just pat dry it. So it's not like I expose it to salt water and leave it sitting in there for a while. So I do clean up the watch after any sort of liquid exposure. But overall, the only thing I would say is the shine of the silver has dulled a little bit. You know, it's kind of getting this aged patina, similar to what bronze does. And there are certain regions where it has started to say brown a little bit. And those regions are not like super clearly visible, but one of the main regions is where the lug connects with the case. You know, there's a little bit of browning over there. Uh, you could almost mistake it to say, oh, maybe that's just dirt. But no, it's actually browning of the case. And another region where you see that happen quite a bit is right where the crown makes contact with the case. Why I think those regions are prone, I don't know for sure. But I mean, these cases are typically stamped into shape. And this is a junction where the case, you know, goes through heavy amount of bending. And my guess is the stresses in that region make it more prone to seeing this sort of tarnishing in those specific regions. Same thing with the place where the crown connects into the case. A hole was probably stamped or machined out. You can have stress concentrations typically from a process like that. The case back looks actually almost quite pristine. I don't see any issues or any signs of tarnish over here. I used to hate the case back, uh, particularly the fact that it was see-through. Not as bothered about it now that I've been wearing it for six months. You know, I kind of almost like it. I will still uh, reiterate that this movement is not worth looking at or showing off. It's very, very basic, very, very generic, but you know, it's something, I guess. But overall, uh, really being impressed with this watch. As I said, this, along with the Tudor Pelagos, has served as my beater watch for the past six months and I do wear it quite often. I love it. I still think it is one of the most beautiful watches in the Black Bay range. Continue to reiterate that. And if there are those who think that this watch, if they've been on the fence about, you know, purchasing this watch, particularly worried about the tarnish, I'd say just like any other watch, you know, it's going to pick up some sort of patina over time, whether it's scratches in the case of silver, it's a little bit of, you know, dulling of the color of the silver, but that happens even with a gold watch. So it's not unusual to the silver. You're not seeing anything that is not normal with any other unique material. So overall, fantastic watch, you know, after six months, still love it just as much as I did the first time. Beautiful, beautiful watch to add to one's collection. If you have any thoughts about this watch, please do comment in the comments below and please do like and subscribe once again. Really appreciate that. And what I might do is do a follow up video maybe in a year's time to see how has it aged? Is there some sort of non-linear aging effect of this of time on this watch? Uh, we'll find out. So I might even do a separate video or kind of cover it during the state of the collection update. Thanks a lot. Take care.